actual recording now. Oh, I need to grab something first. Grab it. For later. Ooh. Ah, cards. Excellent. Yes, cards. All right. Um, oh, we can leave this in. It'll be another little weird start <laughs> to the podcast. How so. unprofessionally we start the podcast. Oh, yeah. Oh, professionality is, an, um, is my middle name. <laughs> my mother didn't like me. <laughs> Clearly. All right. So welcome, everyone, to the, one, uh, to the non-refundable podcast here on 177 Entertainment. Uh, I am once again here, obviously, as I'm now generally regarded as the host. I am Niff. I'm once again joined by Jay. He's the only other person who will sit and listen to my name ramblings for an hour. That is true. And yeah. also hi. And there was a wave. And he did wave good. Uh, obviously, straight off the top of the bill, we have to go through the disclaimer. So here at 177 Entertainment, we make no promises of what you're about to listen to or contribute to your life in any way. There is a high chance that what you're about to listen to will be totally inaccurate and the views expressed within are solely of the parties involved and do not represent 177 Entertainment's view on politics, celebrities, news, facts our, or opinions on the world in general we would also like to remind you this is a satirical podcast or at least aims to be with which may contain mild sarcasm and the occasional joke those of a serious disposition or lack of understanding when it comes to attempts at comedy may want to turn off now please also listen responsibly there we go right now we'll leave legally covered yep. yeah and i'm going to drink some more sweet sweet nectar do it i'll chat over that isn't that exciting? Slurp, slurp, slurp. Probably went through on the microphone. Do apologise. Um, right, I have things. And by things, I mean pages that I have open on my phone for news. Mm-hmm. Um, flicking through. Obviously, one of the best um, best news sites in the world, the uh, the Daily Star. Oh, my. Uh, That's way, way reputable. Di- mm, Weighed in on video gaming. Uh, with the title, this, oh, okay. this is the, this is the title. This is this is from the gaming section on the Daily Star website. Wait, they have a gaming section. They do. Yeah, That's they've got to be hip and or cool yeah. with the kids because okay. kids. What do kids like more than boobs and games? That's true. So this is the title. I want to see if you know it, if you can guess what this article is going to be about. Okay. PS4 and Xbox One gamers won't believe this incredible news. What incredible news? Will they not believe? I'll read you the sub. I don't know, but I really hope that there's a list and number eight will blow my mind. <laughs> no, it's, um, so it, the sub, whatever they call it, the sub headline, the sub yeah. line, whatever it is, uh, Sony, PlayStation and Microsoft Xbox One gamers have enjoyed playing some amazing games in 2017, like Horizon Zero Dawn and Halo Wars 2, but things could have been very different. Where do we right. think this news article is going, Jay? Where are they? He- well, the, the original headline gave me some sort of idea that maybe they were going to do cross-platform multiplayer. Which, I can tell you now, the, frankly, the original headline is just clickbait. It did exactly what it... Yeah, because yeah, yeah. I clicked and I went, go, oh, 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 really? I, I am both. Am I going to be super excited about this? And then I read, I'm like, no. Oh, okay. Because that's, I mean, just going down that route for something, that's something that I just think should happen. Yeah. It's, it's ridiculous. It, it's just... Just um, cross-platform it, for fuck's sake. If you can play the same game on two different... Well, uh, and PC as well. Yeah. Just get the whole mix in there. There's the weird one PC with... PC alone, you. <laughs> there's, uh, there's the weird one with Rocket League. Mm. Like, you can play PlayStation and PC, Xbox and PC. But not... But um, a PC, if you play on PC, you're only playing with PC people, I believe. Yeah. But you can't... Yeah, there's... Uh, but weird. there's no Xbox, PlayStation. No. That no, just weird. seems stupid to me. Yeah. But anyway. So it's Although not Although I think that. you can play against PlayStation people on Xbox through matchmaking. God, that's complex. Okay. Yeah, you can't create a party with it. No. Right, so. So where do we think this news article is going? I'll read you the headline again and yeah. then the subline. Yeah, please. So the headline, PS4 and Xbox One gamers won't believe this incredible news. And the subline is Sony, in block capitals, PlayStation, because trademark, and Microsoft Xbox One gamers have enjoyed playing some amazing games in 2017, like Horizon Zero Dawn and Halo Wars 2. But things could have been very different. Why could things be very different, Jay? I can te- I'm going to tell you now, this is not a revolutionary news article. Right. Think of all the standard crap that major tabloid journalists put about gamers. Because and gaming could have been outlawed forever. Not, not quite. Because no. it makes you a serial killer. I'll, I'll, I'll read you some snippets through the... Uh, so, yeah. gamers have been spending so much time playing away on their consoles, such as Xbox, PlayStation, or Nintendo Switch that they're missing out on major life improvements. Oh, my Christ. Accord, uh, accord to any report. Not according, accord. Accord. Yeah. Brilliant. This is what basically what made me... There's a lot of typos in this, and it's very funny. <laughs> uh, experts have been studying exactly how many vidoes, V-I-D-O-E, game lovers put, their favorite t- put into their favourite titles. And it is no surprise that a third of hardcore gamers on hit titles like Call of Duty and FIFA are whiling away at least five hours a day in front of the telly. 
Yes, this is a, another dig at uh, fuckers, fuckers spend too much time playing games. Yeah. And then it goes on on how, how we should have better spent our time. Oh, uh, does it give us an idea? Oh, it does. Brilliant. It does, Fantastic. yeah. So how so, should I have... So did you life? know, Jay, that... Yeah. Uh, Xbox said that if gamers ditch two hours of play a day, they yeah. could learn a rock, learn to rock a guitar within three months. Did you know that? Okay, I I could hold a guitar and rock it side to side now. That yeah. would take me minutes. I could even hum "Rock a Bye Baby" if I were doing it. Yeah. Uh, other examples include being able to learn French within six months if you put two hours of studying into into the language. Okay. You could even get a marathon. Do you know what a marathon is? Um, it's a chocolate bar. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I, whenever I, I've, I've marathon, it just doesn't bring any bells with me. No, that's a league joke for anyone who's listening. Um, if you could even get uh, get by Florida, <laughs> uh, you could even get uh, marathon fit for a twenty-six mile run. Not quite twenty-six, but yeah. well, twenty-six point sure. two. Uh, a, a very long run. Yeah, within two and a half months in that time. Okay. Cool. No, that's just what the article was. It's that, basically like I mean, that, you could I'm have sure, better spent your time. I'm sure that's all true. It, it, However, they, they also cover their bases later on because it's what I know what you're going to say. Uh, we thought it'd be interesting though to find out relative terms which could be achieved in the same time frame. Gaming is such a popular leisure activity globally for both men and women. It made sense to use it as something to compare to. But members of the public can also apply the calculator to the amount of time spent online or on social media. Brackets, Twitter, Facebook, WhatsApp as well. Yeah, they've that covered. Did. They've covered you on that dig. No, no actually, yeah. my my other one was um, so their examples: uh, train to run a marathon, marathon. learn what? French. Sorry, what? Uh, exactly, and uh, learn to play the guitar. Yep. Right. What if I don't want to do any of those three <laughs> things? <laughs> well, is this mandatory? <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't you say. Must put two hours. It doesn't into say these things. Doesn't say exclusively. It Excellent. Just, it says per example. Yeah, like that's very true. For example, I could learn to do those things. I could or also play two more hours of games. Yeah, <laughs> spend two more hours of gaming that presumably I want to do. Yeah, no one's put a gun to my head and said play video games for five hours. It's not like you sign a report with uh, sign an agreement with the, when you buy the game no. that you'll play this at least five hours a day. No, you buy the game on the premise that you'll play it when you want to play it for the length of time you want to play it. For. I'm lucky if I get five hours gaming in a week. At yeah, this point. I don't. I'm soon to be no, working. I definitely for, don't. No, actually. I'm I'm soon to be working forty eight hours a week. Yeah. And I, and then socialising with my friends, like going out and pro- making uh, sure everyone's still yeah, alive, being a yeah. being a purchaser of alcohol yeah. and things. Uh, I might play maybe a couple of hours. I, I do the the bit, bits I play gaming are the bits I fucking record. Yeah, and exactly. Play, that is so, pretty much our entire gaming at this that's point. That's almost not really enjoying the game anyway. That's no. kind of a form of work. For you. I play games in forty five minute chunks and then spend an hour fi- like recording it and editing yeah. it, and then forty minutes pub- <laughs> rendering it, and then uh, half an hour uploading it. <laughs> and then exactly. I, right, that's on to the next. Oh, it's but eleven o'clock. Think, during the rendering and the editing, you could also learn French. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah or play. The I generally just put Amazon Prime on and watch more of my um, Dickensian dramas because <laughs> <laughs> you do love a Dickensian. Look, drama. Ripper Street is a fantastic. T- TV show, okay? I will defend it to the hills. I fully expect in the ne- when you finished watching that, I fully expect you'll just be watching a ton of other period dramas. You're like, I, I really am into them now. I watch Downton Abbey. Uh, I um, I do like my apparently Downton Abbey is actually really good. Yeah, no, it's a bit a bit too frou frou for me. Uh, call the midwife. No, I've got uh, my girlfriend's a midwife. Ah, so you I can just I can just go on. I just call, call her. her. Just speak to her. Yeah. 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 Um, and yeah, then it's there was um. What's the other one I was watching? Hell on Wheels. That's really good. Okay, yeah, that's really. That's uh, it's actually that's on my list of things to watch. It's I've really forgotten good. about it until you it's mentioned it. It's really good. It's really good. Watch it. I've I should really get Amazon Prime. Yes, you should. Amazon but Prime is, is on the win. Hand, I don't really have the money for it. No, there is also that. That's tricky. Uh, also, keeping it into the gaming thing. Yeah. Uh, have you heard of the Nintendo Switch? Swatch. Swatch. Switch? Switch. Switch. No, it's the Nintendo. I've heard of the Nintendo Switch. Switch. That's it. Switch. Yeah. Uh, apparently, it's exceeding, uh, uh, yeah, exceeding all expectations. Apparently, and I was just surprised well, yeah, but, at. But presumably, that was compared to their previous. The Wii U. Yeah, no. Console is like our expectations are that we sell some. Oh, we've sold some. Yay! <laughs> yeah, the Wii U, or as uh, shop clerks used to call it, the Wii U. Sure, you really want this? Yeah. Oh man, seriously, it was. What got me was that the cool little controller you got with it. The Sega Game Gear. Yeah, that you yeah. got with it. You couldn't buy separately. No. And it didn't work standalone. Because so, that would impede on their uh, Nintendo DS sales. <laughs> but what if I want to? They sold you a single screen Nintendo DS yeah. to work with your Nintendo Wii. You sure you really want this? Yeah. I'd, yeah. Yeah, normally, Nintendo kind of crush it on consoles, at least at the beginning. Yeah, they well, tend yeah. To, the, the initial hype. Yeah, it tends to be like, oh my god, 
we everyone has to buy this now and we sell out on day one. Yep. Um, and then people go crazy trying to get hold of them, and mm-hmm. then six months later they all get traded back in again. <laughs> Except <laughs> when everyone plays the four game that's played. Yeah. <laughs> they play the four Except games. handhelds that always do well. Yeah, I mean Nintendo. Nintendo's yeah. Wheelhouse is handheld consoles. Yeah, not mobile. With Mario and Zelda. We don't really need anything else. To be they did very well with Nintendo Dogs for a while. And Pokemon, obviously. And Pokemon, obviously. No, they're, they're probably their biggest mobile yeah. title ever. Just think about all those Nintendo Dogs that are now dead. Oh, I had like five. Yeah, oh. how sad is that? I don't even know where my Nintendo is. Yeah, my, yeah. My, yeah. The, my... you feel bad, you Aww. Nintendo Dog killer. No, oh, not my King Charles Spaniel. Yes, yes. Oh. He has starved to death. Oh, not the whatever name I gave him when yeah. I was like 13. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Tell me about it. But uh, so last week Nintendo announced that the Switch sales had amounted to. Do you want to guess how many? I believe, I believe this is worldwide as well. Worldwide, yeah, uh, and obviously better than the Wii U. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's higher than forecast as well. Twenty-five. Twenty-five of them. Yes. Just not, not no millions, no thousands. No, just, I think they sold just 25, twenty-five, and they were really happy about that. Uh, close. Two point seven four million. I was so close. Was so close. I mean, if we're playing the game of who gets it closest, like the Price is Right, yeah, you'd win because you're the only com- competition, yeah. and it, you were the closest. Um, dance. But it's more than Nintendo expected to ship 2 million units uh, of the Switch okay. globally during March. And they did 2.74. Well, well done. So, I remember when I worked for a certain retailer of electronical goods and uh, games. Uh, can't say that. That's in the title. No, there's an S on the end. You're fine. All right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's a different word. It's like in Scrabble. Again, I refer everyone to the legal disclaimer. Yeah. This is stuff. Not, and yeah. anyway, uh, when the Nintendo Wii came out, we did sell out, like... Yeah, the Wii was massive. Instantly. Uh, and I remember someone calling up, trying to give me a £1,000 for a Nintendo Wii. So for a Wii retailed, that you didn't have at that point. Yeah. Like, yeah. I really wish I'd bought one myself. They retailed it. Oh, they were scalping well... They 180 were, or something? Yeah. They, they were, were not expensive to buy. Oh, they, were, they were two... Uh, I thought the packs was, like, 250 or something. Might have been 250 it? But yeah. still, if I'd bought like The one, console was, like... Yeah, you could buy the console, but if you did that, you would have, like, one controller and no games. Yeah, and yeah. be miserable. Everyone was paying, like, 250 or whatever. Else. Yeah, but but yeah, it was yeah, really like, good. Considering the Xbox and the PlayStation at the time were, like, 300 pounds. and something... Because her boss wanted one, so she'd been told to get one. To get one. I think I remember you telling me this story yeah, at the time, yeah. Pounds, that's madness. That's ridiculous. We, God, I'd, I wish I'd bought one and yeah. sold it on. Because you're like, oh no, we're out of stock. Oh, I found one in the in the back. Room. Yeah, exactly. Because yeah. yeah. uh, although it was told against your company policy, I may have heard that people did hold things back on launch days if they wanted to buy them. One of my favourite stories from your one was uh, when Batman Arkham... Arkham Asylum. No. Oh, Asylum, yes. It'd be Arkham Asylum. Um, you, I went in there going, asking if you had any collector's edition ones. You went, yeah, we've got one. I don't, no one's come in and claimed it yet. And then I went, huh, I think I might have pre-ordered that. I <laughs> think that might be mine. Because that's, that's when I went in and I did like 17 pre-orders. Yeah. And I just had one really long receipt and I just I pre-ordered everything that I think I might buy. <laughs> yeah, and, and I was like, yeah. I did that back in the day. When, that was before uh, you had to pay a deposit for yeah, them. Yeah, when pre-orders were free, we used to have a, a book come out. Yeah, that's um, why I did. You just you, I walk you in, just you just through, give me the yeah, book. All the pre-order codes next to you. You just yeah. roll down the list and go, yeah, maybe that, maybe that. Type it all in. Yeah, huge receipt. Yeah, that's that's literally what I did. I'd, I'd go. Points if you buy it. Woo. Yeah, once a month I'd go and like, right, what are the titles for this month? All right, cool. Yeah, I'll put my name down for one of them, one of them, yeah. one of them. You get a collector's one. Yeah, put my name down for collectors for that one. Uh, one of them. And surprisingly, then I make a deposit on all your pre-orders to make sure you come back and get them, so you don't yeah. have people like me so coming in. That doesn't in. happen. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we had an instance where we were massively overstocked of something because uh, some stores mm. not mine uh, had been faking the pre-orders by just every just day they would just <laughs> run a few through on random people's receipts yep. um, and yeah therefore our our stock levels were based partially on the on pre-order, pre-order. expected sales yeah. so yeah you'd get hundreds of copies of Mer in whatever yep. it was and nine times out of ten that'd be perfect because you'd sell them all yeah, yeah. or, or near enough game. yeah near enough uh, yeah. but yeah there was a, a spat where people were doing it on every game so like things no one cared about were getting hundreds like, of copies in yeah it's uh, extreme paintballing 2014 exactly. or something and yeah just, no one would buy them shockingly <laughs> yeah or you'd sell like two no, copies no one comes in for extreme paintball 2014 no surprisingly not you didn't even work there in 2014 anyway but never mind. uh right so going back on to more serious news mm. Um, apparently the Tories are now under pressure due to the fa- uh, the lower than expected growth in the economy I feel I have to put some form of world news in it and I'm happy that the Tories uh, may not uh, just a little bit less happy than what they were yeah that's, that's, uh, that's more what I'm sharing about 
Again, this is a podcast. Tories, this, this doesn't have a political agenda. This podcast is just, just say oh. Tories are under pressure for not doing their jobs properly, and then just maybe extend that to politicians are under pressure. For yeah, not I was going to say their jobs if anyone's properly. under pressure for not doing their job properly, it's Jeremy Corbyn, and he's doing his job exceptionally well. Yeah, Odd, <laughs> well, well, he's not, and he is. He's doing it very well for a leader for a lot of people, but he's not doing it very well for his own party. No, which <laughs> <laughs> is weird. Counterproductive. Yeah, uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know why his party hate him so much. But yeah, anyway, that's why I was just. But uh, Theresa May came on. Uh, Theresa May came on fast day uh, after a campaign stop in Leeds, where she addressed the crowd conservative activists rather than members of the public. So Theresa, and also she's continuing to not go on a debate, which really can't be helping her image all that much. You wouldn't have thought so, but then how can you help the image of an evil lizard overlord? I don't know. Uh, I, it seems she, she's more. Views. She's more like. She's more liked than anything else. <laughs> so, yeah. It's, I don't understand it. It's no. the world's gone weird. Uh, and then on to more happy news. Ooh, uh, we like happy news. Uh, Donald Trump has been quoted saying, North Korea's Kim Jong-un is a, brackets, uh, um, quote marks, smart cookie. <laughs> I haven't actually read this news report, but this is on BBC News. Title what is a Don- wonderful compliment. Yeah, I know. Uh, US President Donald Trump has described North Korea's uh, leader Kim Jong-un as a pretty smart cookie. Speaking to CBS, he noted Mr. Kim has assumed power at a young age despite dealing with, uh, quote, some very tough people. Mm-hmm. Uh, amid escalating tensions over North Korea's nuclear program, uh, he said that he had quote no idea whether Kim Jong was sane, whether Mr. Kim sorry was sane. Uh, the North Korean leader had uh, his uncle executed two years after he came into power, and is suspected of ordering the recent killing of his half brother. Yeah, he's apparently he's, it was a it was a hit. Uh, I want to say somewhere in what, Malaysia, oh, yes. yeah, the yeah. airport or something. He's, his brother yeah. mysteriously died in a Malaysian airport or something yeah. like. That. I think Malaysia might have been somewhere else, but. Uh, President Trump asked what he, asked President Trump comma, asked what he made of the new uh, North Korean leader. Answered, people saying, "Is he sane? I have no idea." But he's a young man of twenty six or twenty seven. When his father died, he's dealing with obvious, very tough people. Obviously, very tough people. In particular, the generals and others. Uh, and at a very young age, he was able to assume power. A lot of people, I'm sure, tried to take that power away, whether it was his uncle or anybody else, and he was able to do it. So obviously, he's a pretty smart cookie. That's Whether his uncle, who died, by the way. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, I mean, if anything, that just gives me a very scary notice of how Donald Trump makes words good. Yeah. Well, it also half of it is my crap of, reading. Half of it is just, it's really hard to read. It kind of suggests that maybe Donald Trump thinks it's okay to kill people that want your power. Yeah, it's like, yeah, well, people went for his power, so he killed them. Yeah, that's essentially like, you could, it's not what he's saying. It's not. Be very careful yeah. what we say here. Yeah. But you could certainly Mr. CIA and FBI people who listen to the internet. Yes, you could read that into it. But I'm sure yeah. that's not what Mr. Trump is saying at all. I'm sure it's not. Or at least not intentionally, because he's probably not clever enough to put that subtext in there. Yeah. And then then you've got um it's got the diagram of, you know, the um blistered missile that fell over. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that one. It's, uh... <laughs> Man, we're pissing we're pissing off at every major point of power <laughs> yeah. right now, aren't we? Um it's just got the little diagram of showing what the stage of uh, rockets are able to hit. Uh, and good news, it's uh, not us. It is about 150 miles into the North Sea, but it's not us. But not us. <laughs> no. Sorry, people, from what it looks like, Sweden, Finland. It hits about as far as halfway through Germany, around sort of the Berlin area, which mm-hmm. is... Sure, that's got to be some form of irony in there somewhere. Um, yeah, and then down to sort of the western coast of Greece and Turkey, and then up to over North, Sweden, uh, Sweden and Finland and stuff like that. Do you think that's because no one cares about us? I, I've, yeah, I think I think we like to think we matter, but uh, we, we, we just don't. don't. Just yeah, like, whereas with this time, make the rockets hit them. Probably is it yeah. worth it? Not really. No, no. It's, I mean, it's only an extra. At the end of the day, it's an extra what hundred odd miles. It can't yeah. be that you just put a little bit more fuel in. Exactly. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> you just make the rocket a little bit bigger. Yeah, but they're like that. <laughs> They're going to implode on their own. Don't worry it's, about it. Yeah, they're, yeah, it's fine. Uh, and then it goes on for more inane ramblings. Uh, 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 he again held the ties he's developing between China, a country he criticised heavily during the election campaign. The relationship I have with China, it's been already acclaimed as being something v- very special, something very different that we've ever had. <sighs> well, can't fucking stop blowing his own trumpet. Can he it? can't. He just can't speak. Well, that too. North Korea is maybe more important than trade. Trade is very important, but massive warfare with millions, potentially millions of people being killed, that is what, uh, that, as we would say, trumps trade. What? I don't, yeah, that, that is literally what? read word for word. 
When asked whether he would fulfil his campaign pledge to label China as a currency manipulator, he said, as soon as I got elected, they stopped, but implied that... <laughs> But implied he did not want to jeopardise Chinese cooperation on North Korea. And then, quote, North Korea is maybe more important than trade. Trade is very important. But massive warfare with millions, potentially millions of people being killed, that, as we would say, that, as we would say, trumps trade. Yeah. I still don't fully understand. No, I don't. I'm reading it, and I, that's that's why I'm, I'm having to go back. I'm like, no, I missed. No, I haven't. I haven't missed any words. All of the words that are in the quote are there, I believe. Excellent. If you yeah, if you want to check it yourself, it's um, on the BBC website. It's uh, it was published today. Oh, um, Trump's with a small T. Uh, Trump's trade, yeah. Right. I was a little bit confused. I thought they were saying that it was yeah, Trump's it's... trade, as in he possessed the trade. But no, no, it means Trump's trade. So. Avoiding war where millions of people might die is more important than worrying about trade. Yeah, is what he's saying. Yeah, I know. It's just it doesn't come across very easily. At no, all. I had to think about it way more than really yeah. I should. Yeah, I know. So if you want to, if you want to read it, you like I, I kind of gleaned that it means like I mean to me a better word there would be Trump's trade, but I think you'd probably just reword the entire. Sentence, yeah, frankly. just yeah, just don't use your own surname in it as well. Yeah, <laughs> that's when, when you sounds you use a word that. Makes it sound like it's your your trade. Yeah. Like it beats trade. Yeah, uh, yeah, that would be fine. Yeah. Is, is better it's than more important than uh, trade. Yeah. Like, you could have just said, "I don't want millions of people to die." Yeah. I'm gonna. That's really yeah. the key here. I'd rather stop a war with North Korea than affect any form of trade deals. It's yeah, ba- no, yeah that's, that's a better way. Of, yeah. That makes perfect sense. But yeah, if you wanna if you wanna read it, it's on the BBC website. Uh, the article is titled uh, "Donald Trump, comma North Korea's Kim Jong Un is quote a smart cookie." <laughs> smart cookie. Yeah, so I just thought it was funny because we obviously every every week we seem to end up talking about Trump because there's, yeah. there's just always something funny to talk about when yeah. you're talking about Trump, um, and that's pretty much all I have in regards to to news, news, and okay. anything really to bring to the conversation. Mm. <laughs> Excellent. Um, one okay. one thing I have in life news: uh, mm. I did go and see Guardians Two last night. I have not yet seen it, so let's keep this spoiler free. No, what I was going to say though is if you wanted to try and see it by next Wednesday. Also, I should probably say, I should have said this at the beginning. We are pre recording this on a Monday mo- uh, Monday Lunchtime. afternoon now, technically. Yeah. Because uh, I'm, current- I'm going to be away for the next four days. So this will still be released on Wednesday, but it is pre recorded as of Monday uh, afternoon. Yeah. Um, so if by- I was going to say, if you wanted to watch it by next Wednesday, if you can, we could have a spoiler cast on. I'm potentially seeing it today. Ah, that's fine. So, so yeah, um, don't make notes because I didn't, and I'll probably forget. Uh, unless you do want to make notes, and then you can guide the conversation in a, in a good way. Mm, excellent. Um, but yeah, I went and saw it last night, and it is uh, is good. That's that's, that's all, all we need. Just all at I, this point, that's yeah, all we need. That's all I say on that. Gives you because you're seeing it later. Oh, Goodians so of the galaxy. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It. Um, so just a pre-warning for everybody. Almost certainly spoilers. Next yeah. Time. Ne- next week we'll have yeah. You want to we'll spoiler heavy? I'm giving you a week and a half notice to go and watch Guardians of the Galaxy. Basically, yeah. if, if you care enough about spoilers, you should probably go and see it within the next week and a half. Anyway, it's not hard to go to the cinema considering they run until like eleven o'clock in the evening. Yep. Yeah. They do tend to be everywhere. Yeah. They're all over the show. Yeah. The shop, shop, show, whatever. whatever. Um, I have two options for watching it today, and I'm just trying to figure out which is the best. One involves me rushing around after we're done this, and the other one doesn't. I would go with the one that doesn't. Yeah, it mm. seems likely that'll be the best one. Yeah. Are you going with people, or are you going um, on your own? Currently, no. Currently, no. I'm, currently, I'm going on my tard. Oh, nice. Because everyone that I know has already seen it. <laughs> they all went and watched it on Friday. I was going to say, it's only been out two days. Yeah. No, they <laughs> all four went days. watched it immediately. Yeah, uh, I was unavailable to do so, so. I totally didn't know it was coming out like this soon. Yeah, I knew it was like, coming out. It was later. Yeah, yeah I yeah, thought yeah, it was sure. late in a couple of months. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think it had snuck up on a few people. So, if anyone heard that sound of rustling, that is me opening the new cards oh, for this week's quiz, which I am shuffling. Out of. Just that is the sound of shuffling. That is it's not the sound of silence, which no. which I've also. Uh, I've now become addicted to the disturbed version. Yes, I listen to it constantly. It is so good. I actually my current earworm is Broken Bones by Anti Flag. That is a good. One. I can't. I really, to I'm. Uh, I really want to start listening to. Um, fuck. Ah, um, uh, Billy Talent. Talent. Yeah, yeah. You should. I've, 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 I've listened to him like a long time ago. Yeah, but yeah. Was yeah. it um, the Red Flag waving? I, I have love a little, red. Uh, like resurgence of them now yeah I right? do as well you yeah. just go back to them I'm on a data remember kick currently oh nice um, so 
I can't remember if I mentioned Spotify actually doing its job. I really saw well. your post on Facebook. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's it's just offering you punk and yeah, uh, and, like and rock. It's realised two thousand. Listen to yeah. <laughs> Just pumped that in. It sent me a uh, on my recommended thing. It was like punk workout, and it was brilliant. <laughs> was, like, yes, was it? Was it just kind of like dropkick Murphys and flogging yeah, Molly and stuff? Yeah, yeah, anti flag. Yeah. and Rancid. the used were in there, which did really? throw me a little bit. Well, some of their songs are pretty high but tempo. Though. One of their songs was good on there, so I accepted it. Is it the one that's the, the video with him climbing out of a sofa? Because that's the only one I can no remember. No idea. It's called Cry. But I don't. I don't which know. is a very emo y name. It's the used. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it's an emo title. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I assume they also have songs called Journal. Journal, and yeah. Diary. Yeah. Uh, razor, razor Blade. Yeah, yeah. All these Tor- sorts of things. Torment. Fringe. Torment. Yeah, one Angst. Yeah. You don't know. <laughs> All that sort of stuff. Life's so tough. Right. That is thoroughly shuffled, so I shall Good. cut so the deck. Good, so in theory, this I shall cut- be as horribly weighted. I shall cut the deck and... Would you like the left or the right, sir? The left. Left. So this is this is all on Jay's doing. Yeah. Right? So this should be a fair round. This is also going to be probably a shorter podcast than normal because I am very busy today. You have all of the things. To <laughs> I do have all of the things to do and all the places to go. Exactly. Right. Uh, I started last time, so did you want to start? Sure. <laughs> I, I believe I started last time. Yeah. Let's go with that. Why not? Yeah. I did, yeah, because you were. We, I went one up on one of them. Yeah, anyway. Yeah. Great. What part of a spaceship do Minox like to munch? Minox? Mm. Oh, uh, I've got to remember what a Minox is for a start. That would probably help. <laughs> what part of a spaceship? would be the engine. Is it the engine? Uh, it's the power cables. Mm. Uh, uh, yeah, no, yeah. Uh, just to, I'll probably just reiterate the rules as oh, well. Yeah, so um, basically, we've got of the card. The card has six questions on it. Generally, they are three from the original trilogy, three from the prelogy, um, and then it's first three answers. Was it three answers gets you the card? Or was it four? Three answers gets you the card. card and five then cards wins. For glory. Yeah, five cards wins, and then the oh, the super duper winner is the person who answers the most amount of questions. Yeah, on the, on a card. And if you answer all six on a card correctly, you just win. you just win. The game's just over. Done. We yeah. stop. We applaud. Okay, so first, Nyx. Mm-hmm. Uh, second one. What Jedi barely survives when a blast from his own troop's cannon crashes into a nearby wall? Uh, that'll be Obi-Wan Kenobi. That will be Obi-Wan Kenobi. That is when he's riding up the wall on the chicken lizard. Oh, of course. The yeah. chicken lizard. Yeah. Always the chicken lizard. It's always the chicken lizard. Everything in here is in fucking episode two. Like episode three, a lot of it. Yeah. I think this did. This set did come out just after episode three, so, so that, that might be why. Sense. Yeah. Who deliberately turns away from the Rebel Rendezvous point after Hoth's evacuation? Deliberately turns away. It'd be, uh, it'd be Luke Skywalker. It will be Luke Skywalker. Because he goes off to Dagobah. Nailing it. Sh- shaky start on the first question, yeah. but two for two now. Who commands an astromech to pilot his fighter back to the ship and tell Cody I've made contact? Tell Cody I've made contact. Mm. Who pilots a... Uh, who pil- uh, no? Who commands an astromech yep. to pilot his fighter back to the ship and tell Cody? Oh, that'll be Obi Wan again. That is Obi Wan again. So you've got yeah. three for three. You've got the card. I've got the card. On to I'm, glory. I'm, I'm feeling good on this one. I think this could be. This hopefully could be a five card. This a five question be. card. Uh, what type of vehicle delivers the Emperor to the second Death Star? Uh, Imperial shuttle. Yes, indeed. Oh. <sighs> Four. Four out of five. Come on. What character in The Empire Strikes Back mm-hmm. was called Minch in the first draft of the script? What character was called oh, Ep- in Empire? In Empire. Ooh. Wow. That is actually... That's quite Minch. obscure. That is, is it um, Leia's alter ego bounty hunter costume she goes in with? No. Damn. Good guess, though. I mm. like that. Uh, it was Yoda. Ah, uh, okay. In, in Empire? Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, I'm a little bit confused as to... Surely he would have been called that in... I'm also, what I said was from Return of the Jedi, not uh, Empire Strikes Back. Yeah, well, yeah. So I was on the completely wrong film. Harry's going to absolutely anyway. rinse me for that. Fuck you, Harry. Hey, Harry. Move to Florida and then he listen. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Right, so you got I got the card. And I got card. four. You got four. The leading score is four on a card. Cool. Okay. Right, so... Uh, what creature causes C-3PO to shriek, go away, beastly little thing? Shoo, shoo. So, what creature causes C-3PO to shriek, go away, you beastly little thing? Shoo, shoo. Is it a womp rat? No. Do you know what it is? It's a Minoc. God <laughs> damn you, Minoc. <laughs> it's probably after C-3PO's power cables. <laughs> probably. Yeah. God uh, damn it. 
The second question is, who makes a futile leap for Mace Windu's lightsaber in the Gene Ocean Arena Battle? Oh, God. Who makes a futile leap for Mace Windu's lightsaber in the Gene Ocean Arena Battle? That's almost something super obscure, isn't it? Uh, no. It's not super obscure. For me? Uh, no, you shouldn't. You wouldn't know the character. Oh, okay. That's a good start. It's not super... It's, he's, he is only in the prelogy, so... Is it... Think about who... You think is it Django? It is Django. Django Fett. Not unchained, but Fett. No. Yeah. Uh, question the third what outlander dons a poncho in order to blend it in with locals on Tatooine this is a privilege question also I am trusting that your eyes aren't good enough to read this upside oh, no, down from this not. far away trust me yeah no <laughs> no they're really and upside down as well yeah, so, so no they're really uh, not that good this is on like probably a size 10 font maybe if that, maybe even a size eight, and it's pro- it's about two and a half, three meters away from him, yeah. <laughs> and it's also upside down. Yeah, so, so no, I'm not that good. No, uh, well, clearly you've already got a question wrong. <laughs> <laughs> or am I doing that? Sandbagging you off. Yeah, yeah you just, the last card just go bang, 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 six. Do, boom, boom. Uh, can I have the question again? Yes. Uh, what outlander dons a poncho in order to blend in with locals on Tatooine? Has not helped. Don't know. <laughs> uh, it is Qui Gon Jinn. Ah, oh, curse you, Qui Gon. Uh, you leave Liam Neeson alone. Um, yeah, he'll throat punch me. I'm yeah, definitely leaving him alone. He'll and he'll he he'll fight you in a sixty cut scene. He will. Yeah. Uh, who asks Luke to stay on Tatooine for one more season? Who asks Luke to uh, stay on Tatooine for one more season? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, oh, but which one says it? Yeah. What's the oh, thing? mother trucker. Yeah. Once again, who asks Luke to stay on Tatooine for one more season? Also, I actually can't remember their names at the moment. So <laughs> I will, I will accept the familiar relation. Okay, I'm as that is fifty percent of the answer. I'm oh, going to say not. it's his fifty-fifty. Yeah, his air quotes mum. What you mean? Uh, it's aunt. Aunt, isn't it? Yeah. No, it's it's actually. Uncle Owen. Is it Uncle? Well, Owen? it's Uncle Owen. Owen that it's, was it. It's Owen Lars, but it's, I would have accepted Uncle or Uncle Owen. Oh, went the wrong way. So you have one of three. One yes. Of three. So you need to get these two to win the card. I need to get them both. Okay. Uh, what type of foils do ARC one seventies lock in oh, attack right. position for combat? So what type of foils do ARC one seventies foils? I assume would be like wings. Yeah. Uh, lock in attack position for combat. <laughs> uh, the reason, the, I was just, I, was, just I looked at the answer and just shook my head and went, "Nope." I'll pass then. Uh, apparently, it's S foils. I have no oh, idea. Oh no, I totally would have got that. Yeah, I, I was put off. Are you shaking your head? I totally would have got. Arc, that. What, what, I don't even know what Arc One Seventies are. They're X wings. Are they? Yeah. All oh, right. S. Uh, I, I gathered that from when it said lock into position for they attack, open but now when they're attacking and they close down when they're just flying. Yeah. All right. Well, that is a that is a nerdy question. I'm just going to remind you. You picked the pile. I did. You no, picked the pile. Fine. I think well, you you forgot that you have to answer the questions off my pile. So yeah. you want you meant to grab so the one in the, the other way around. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. so, all right. Crack on. Uh, I just want to. Know, I can't win the card, but I just no. want to know what the last question. So is. last question is: What binds the galaxy together, according to Obi Wan Kenobi? Yes, it does. Glue. Crazy glue. <laughs> Crazy glue. Uh, no. Nah. No, it's the force. So two out, of, two out of six on that one. I, it's not great. I am honestly, we've done this a couple of times now. I'm disappointed in my Star Wars knowledge. I'm quite happy in mine because apparently it's about thirty percent more than yours. Yeah, <laughs> I think it's a combination of me having a genuinely terrible memory yep. for most things and a hatred of fifty percent of the questions that you're going to get in every yeah, card. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I haven't watched the actual, the original trilogy in a very long time because I know I love it. So yeah. I don't need to go see it again. I haven't watched a trilogy in a really long time. Just no. I didn't realise that X-Wing's technical names were Arc 170, so I just assumed they were I didn't I just picked it up from the foils and the locking in combat. I, get, I, I gleaned it was an X-Wing, think but I didn't know. Anything else yeah. does that that I can think of. No, that's what I was like. Well, mm. I actually knew it was S-Foils. Did you? And then you shook your head and I went, wait, no, it must be something really obscure. Like I thought it was going to be something Oh, I thought you were being facetious. Technical. I thought you were being facetious when no, no, I totally would have got that. No, I knew it was s oh, You right. shook your head and I thought going to be a really tense answer, which I don't know. Nah, see, that's why you need to... have faith in myself. Yeah, you should have. Next question. Who sums up the Ewok language as a very primitive dialect? C-3PO. Of course he does. (laughs) Who describes the Force as an energy field that surrounds us and penetrates us? Uh, That'll be Qui-Gon. No, it's Yoda. Ah, damn it. (laughs) 
Who stands at the hangar door of Echo Base, scanning for Luke's life signs? Uh, Echo Base. Oh, it's got. Is it's, it's not not wedge, is it? <laughs> no. Is that your answer? <laughs> it's, it's going to be wedge or Dak. No, it's R two D two. I don't know. Uh, no, what I don't government know body that. takes even longer than the Senate to make decisions? In Queen Amidala's opinion. Uh oh, God. Um, what's a even longer than the Senate? Even longer than the Senate. Uh, that will be the government on the boo. I don't know what you call them, though. Um, I haven't got a clue. No, it's the courts. All oh, right. Okay. Yeah, well, that's, that's, I knew what it was. I didn't know what they were called. Uh, what planet is shown baking under twin suns? Tatooine. Yep. Who's the only attendee to remain standing during the meeting in the Death Star's conference room? Only person to remain standing in the, the meeting in... The meeting in the Death Star's conference room. So only one character is standing. Who is it? It'd be Darth Vader. Yes. Yeah. Darth Vader. I was, I was thinking, I was like, the I was like oh, well, the Royal Guard always stand. So is it them? But like, they're, they're, they, char- they're characters. They're, yeah, they're not, There's always two. Yeah. So it's not going to be Royal Guard. And are they really... They're not attendees? No, such? that's what I mean. I was like, mm. So... Right, so I've just managed to scrape in a card there for the last yeah. two questions. That was a, not a particularly that good card for me. By the uh, skin of your teeth, but you yeah. got it. So, so for your next card... So uh, two cards down now. Yeah. Damn. How many claws does an Acklay use to walk? What? How many claws does an Acklay, A-C-K-L-A-Y, use to walk? Three. Six. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not, you can't walk on three, can you? That's off balance somehow. <laughs> I don't know if it's got one central one at the back. Like yeah, but a trike. Have you ever seen a Reliant Robin? Yes, they're yeah. great. They tip over all the time. It's exactly. Hilarious. That's why three is not a good good design. Um, so, what added element, according to Anakin Skywalker, turns ordinary negotiations into aggressive negotiations? Lightsabers. Yes. Yes. <laughs> well, technically a lightsaber, but I'm sure multiple lightsabers will, uh, yeah. will have a compounding well, effect. Yeah, increase the aggression. Yeah, it's, surely that would just decrease the time to aggressive yes. negotiations. Uh, who fires? Uh, sorry, who flies as Red Two during the first Death Star battle? Oh God, which of the twats is it? <laughs> Biggs. No, it's Wedge. Oh, God damn it! God damn it, Wedge! God damn it, Wedge! You dick. <laughs> uh, who mutters on Geonosis the Jedi must not find our designs for the ultimate weapon oh god <laughs> I don't know his name uh, If you, I'll take a description if you know who it is the main dude with the big horrible eyes yes yeah his name is Poggle the Lesser but of yes, course it is it is, it is, it is that guy yeah uh, what type of, Just I'm giving you that because I feel sorry for you <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it I'll yeah. take the charity uh, what type of ship uh, ships does Luke in the uh, what type of ships does Luke in the Falcon's gunport say are coming too fast TIE fighters yes so it's a really badly like, shoot at anything else yeah it's a really badly worded question oh god yes yeah. uh, how many terrible things are heading towards Jar Jar Binks according to Qui-Gon Jinn oh like a I don't know. Well, I'm gonna need this one is quite a specific is it numerical quite value. Specific? Oh, okay, so well, not not a not a, it is it's a um um a general specific. Right. If you if you if you were, I can't I can't describe it because it's easier. It'd be too easy to get. But is it it's thousands. It is it a thousand terrible things. Yes. Okay. So you have your card and four. So four. I'm still one question. You're still up. one ahead because you've yep. got five. Yeah. Right. Okay. Let's do this. Leroy. Leroy Somebody rather Jenkins Who serves as governor of the Imperial Outland regions During construction of the first Death Star Huh? You like that again? <laughs> Who serves yep. as governor of the Imperial Outland regions yep. During construction of the first Death Star Oh god um, I'm just going to The only one who I can It's going to be that one that we had from the other day with a captain, I can't remember his name, is I'm just going to go Graham off Tarkin. Yes, it is. Oh, wow, sweet. Yep. <laughs> Who, according to Obi-Wan, didn't take this new assignment with much enthusiasm? Uh, Anakin Skywalker. Yeah, because he doesn't have much enthusiasm At all. for anything. No. Who asks Chewbacca if he was still hanging around with this loser? Uh, Lando Carrizin. Yep. So you got the card. Yep. Boom. Three or three. You're doing well for a I could just end the game, in which case it would be a really fucking short podcast. <laughs> what we got at the moment? Uh, uh, 39. <laughs> <laughs> you might actually do this. Oh, really? It's not a hard card. 
what must Darth Vader move his Star Destroyer out of in order to make a clear transmission to the Emperor? Oh, it's uh, a clear transmission. Um, it's the shadow of a planet, but I can't remember what planet. Oh, no, it's an asteroid field. Oh. oh it's a shame. Oh, I thought it was like the shadow of Cloud City or something. I can't no, remember. No, no. Uh, what type of ship is the shuttle Tidirium disguised as during its transit to Endor base? Um, what type of ship is it disguised as? Type of ship. So it's yeah, I don't it's mean, like, uh, ship name. I just need yeah. No, it's, oh, it's um, fuck. Is it a capital ship? It is not. It's a cargo ship. Cargo ship. And that's a shame. You were doing yeah. very well. You had a strong start. I Good. know. The, I know the ship. It's the one at the beginning of the New Hope that gets attacked. But I couldn't remember what it was classed as. Uh, whose last line in a New Hope mm-hmm. is? I knew there was more to you than money. Uh oh, that would uh, that'd be oh, is it, that'd be Luke. No, it's Leia. Ah, I uh, couldn't remember. But you still oh, got last, the card. Last line, yes, yeah, when he comes back and lets us... Still yeah, got the card, yeah. which is the important thing. Well, I started off so strong. You did. You I fucked the end of that card. You, you got me into... the first three. Yeah, you got me into a full sense of security for you the did. last three. Like, no, you got this. <laughs> you got this. You're all over this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Fool. God damn it, Wedge. <laughs> what a prick. I think I've got my first t-shirt there. Yeah. <laughs> God damn God it, Wedge. God damn it, Wedge. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, how many eyes does the... Dianoga used to check out the activity in the Death Star's trash compartment. God damn it, one. Yes. I didn't even have to look at the answer. I know. Yeah. Yeah. We all know. <laughs> yeah. As soon as you said that Blip last part, yeah, I was like, oh, I know what the, it is. In the trash compactor. When you named yeah. it, I was like, yeah. oh, for f- this is yeah. another Ikai claw. Or, <laughs> or Meg from Blue Harvest. Yeah. Uh, what Jedi is stunned by a blow to the nose with a lightsaber handle before he's killed with his blade? I know this one. It's a very sad moment. Well, I mean, the death of Jedi... Is always a sad mm. moment. This one's super sad for me. I'll read it again. Uh, yeah. What Jedi is stunned by a blow to the nose with a lightsaber handle before he's killed with his blade? This is a trilogy question as well. This really make, makes me sad you're, not, you're struggling with this one because I love it so well, much. Well, I, I know... I know why you're struggling, but it just makes me sad. I know what I want to say, but mm-hmm. I'm just running through and figuring out just making the sure. right answer. Yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah. I, I've got to go Qui-Gon. It is. It is. It is when he's fighting Darth Maul before he gets stab, stabbed it. I don't remember the blow it, to the nose. Yes, yeah, when he goes, he hits him with the centre of the draw oh, lightsaber. He, he goes, yeah, dunk, and then it. he goes yeah. like that, and then, pff, and, then, and then I cry. And then you cry. And yeah. Who knows what happens for the rest of the film because you're crying. Yeah. I, yeah. I look up and um, Darth Maul's in two halves. And then I, then I... Anything, any question that I'm sure of the answer of, I now hesitate on. <laughs> Good. I've conditioned well. <laughs> uh, who confesses that her first love was a young, dark haired team named Paolo? <laughs> who confesses that her first love was a young, dark haired team named Paolo? I don't know, but it doesn't sound like a Star Wars question. <laughs> it's a Star Wars question. It sounds like I don't remember this one. Like no. a friend of mine that just went on holiday and fell in love with someone called Paolo. <laughs> this, is, this, is one of my, this is probably the favourite question I've had in this entire game. Uh, I didn't know this one. Uh, Amadala? Uh, it is Padme Amadala, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm not nailed reading, it. not reading the back of this one, are you? No, I'm not, but right. that's brilliant. Yeah, as I don't remember that. It's probably like a throwaway line in the first one or something. I fell in love with Paolo. I fell in love with a dark head <laughs> teen. Like such a cheesy <laughs> yeah. romance. So Carry good. on. Right, who fires? That's your second t-shirt, by the way. Yeah. I fell in love with a dark head <laughs> teen named Paolo. Paolo. Yeah. <laughs> uh, who fires at the Imperial probe droid on Hoth? Who fires at the Imperial probe droid on uh, Hoth? Luke. No. No, Han. Han, yeah. God damn. Fortunately, I have to take your first answer. Yeah, no, that's fine. Because Luke is unconscious. Yes, he is. God damn it. Uh, what's the first system Anakin activates in his Starfighter after it comes back to life inside the droid control ship? I don't know, so I'm going to say the radio. <laughs> Get some fat beats on. It's the shields. Um, that's, that's when he's fighting the Naboo fighter inside of the thing. Just doesn't it? Yeah. Well, he's... he's, he's Picking, pressing things and flicking stuff, and then the so he come. might have activated the radio. He, yeah, first, yeah, yeah. It actually. depends if Star Wars were being whimsical that time. It was yeah. a 50 50. It's either going to be useful or whimsical. Yeah. Um, Some Barry White comes on. So you've got the card because you've got uh, three, you got the first three. Okay. Um, this is just for, so f- for glory. Wait, no, I've still got the glory because I've got five. This, okay. this I can't four. get five on this, can I? This no. Is just for no, this is the last one. So five. who sinks uh, to periscope depth after a leap into the Dune Sea? It's quite a good question, actually. Who sinks to periscope depth? Who sinks to periscope depth 
after a leap into the dune sea? So, <laughs> it's quite a good question. It's a very cryptic question, actually. It is a very cryptic question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's now good, I'm though. thinking of the hunt for Red October. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wanted to find that on uh, Amazon Prime the other day, and um, uh, no, no, I think it is, but you have to pay to rent it. I wanted uh, it for it. That's a shame. Um, good film. Wonderful. Was it that one? No, it wasn't. It was fantastic um, Russian Sean Connery. Yeah. No, I wanted to. Uh, I can't remember. It's either on that. Again, it's all Blue Harvest again. Yeah. Have, you, like, have you seen the Family Guy Blue Harvest with this one? Where they go Red One standing by, Big Red standing by, Red October standing by. <laughs> yes, yeah. <laughs> it's fantastic. Um, I, I, I genuinely simply read standing I by I don't know because I don't really understand the question so I'm going to go I don't know okay it's R2 it's in the oh, f- in the course. sixth one when he falls and yeah Periscope oh that's yeah that's, that's a really good that's why I like it it's a really good yeah. question yeah it's cryptic but it's good. It's a good question it makes sense now. yeah that's yeah. what I mean when you look at those you go ah. yeah. <laughs> right <clears throat> what member of the Jedi Council is piloting a fighter when he shot down Plo Koon. his cone Troopers. Yep. That's for you, Harry. Plokal is his favourite Jedi. That, uh, that and uh, Karl Katarn, who can go suck a fuck. Okay. I'm so glad he's been written out of the fucking extended universe. I All fucking right. hate Karl Katarn. Alright. There's some, there's some emotion there. Uh, who under mistake... Uh, who reads questions badly? Who <laughs> defer, 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 Sorry, I went a little <laughs> bit... Uh, went a little bit stained there. Yeah. Uh, that's Creed. That was Creed, I think. A little that bit one. Creed. Yeah, a little bit Creed. Who underestimates the Jedi when noting their fire has gone out of the universe? Hmm. Hmm. It's actually not a particularly famous... Well, in my mind, that's not a particularly famous quote. So, So, can I have it again? Yep. Who underestimates the Jedi when Mm -hmm. noting their fire has gone out of the universe? I'm sure there's Star Wars fans everywhere going, that's my favourite quote. Yeah, I'm sure there is. Um, Who underestimates the Jedi... Um, this sounds to me like an episode two quote. Um, I'm going to go with, it's going to be, um, I'm going to go with Count Dooku. I know it's probably not. It is Grand Moff Tarkin. Uh, of course. Yeah. Who asks Princess Leia, mm-hmm. will you join me for a little refreshment? Hmm. Uh, that sounds like a Lando line to me. Yes, it is. Yeah. He may well have meant Plucking Fucking penis. Billy D. Williams, smooth-ass motherfucker. He's good. He is. He's, good. He's very good. Uh, what item do the Ewoks take from Chewbacca after his capture? Uh, the Ewoks take from it? Is yeah. it his it, it, um, bow launcher? Yep. Yeah. Bow caster, technically, yeah. but I would accept bow launcher. Because <laughs> launching and casting is kind of the same. Yeah. Uh, what's the farthest planet from the bright centre of the universe, according to Luke? Farthest centre from the bright... Farthest, farthest planet, planet from the bright centre of the universe, according to Luke. According Let's to Luke. not forget, Luke's a dumbass. He is a dumbass. Um, oh, it depends. If, is he talking distance-wise, or is he talking like society-wise? Because Tat- Tatooine's pretty far so, 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 society-wise from the bright centre of the universe, because it's a hot planet, and it's sort of... Dog eat dog or slug eat smaller slug. Yeah, um, yeah I'm going to go Tatooine. It is Tatooine. <laughs> yeah. Okay. One question left to see if you can match your glory. Also, part of that thing, the only planet Luke knows exists at this point is probably Tatooine. Tatooine yeah. yeah, like I said, he's a dumbass. Yeah. Uh, who earns Jar Jar Binks' praise for, and no, I'm not doing the voice, for being grossly nice? Who who earns? So what character? So he, yeah, he describes something who dis- as yeah. being grossly nice. Who is that somebody? Grossly nice. Oh god. Um, 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 grossly nice. Well, Qui Gon's not nice to him in the entire film, really. He saves him. That's about it. And everyone gets annoyed. I'm gonna go with Anakin. No. Is it Padme? It is Padme. Uh, yeah. I was a toss up between them. Still got the card. Still though. got the card. That was one was that, card was that four again? No, that, uh, one, that was four again. On yeah. That one, yeah. Cool. So I'm still well, I'm two cards ahead, don't I? Or, yeah. Uh, but yeah, you've got a card in play. So yes. Because I you, only won one card. No, you've won two cards. You've oh won, yeah. You've won those two. You lost that one, but you, I'm a round ahead. So. Yeah. Uh, right. So what I fruit? Back. <laughs> what fruit does Anakin get for Padme and Qui Gon from Mos Espa Street Defender? Some horrible made-up fruit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, apparently things called pallies. P-A-L-L-I-E-S. I think that's how you say it. Or pallies. Great. Yeah, I don't know. Probably an apple. Probably. Yeah. Or a pear. 
Or a pair. Uh, who claims you have a power I don't understand and could never have? Who claims you have a power I don't understand and could never have? Okay. It is a trilogy question. Is it trilogy? If it, if it helps, yeah. Oh. So, once again, who claims you have a power I don't understand and could never have? Here's a tough one. I wouldn't, I wouldn't know this one. Layer. Yes, yes, Layer. Yeah. I don't know when, what dark recesses you pulled that out no, of. No, I don't know either. <laughs> it, was, it was correct, wherever it was. Uh, who sighs, I cannot teach him. Who sighs, I cannot teach him. This is a prelogy question. I think. It could be. Characters in both, put it that way. I want to say Yoda. It is Yoda. Yes. Uh, who announces over an intercom the Empire has taken control of the city? I advise everyone to leave. Who announces over the intercom the Empire has taken control of the city? I oh. advise everyone to leave. Is it Lando? It is Lando. Excellent. I love Billy D. Williams. Yeah. Uh, so a smooth and sexy voice. He does. Lando. Yeah. Uh, it's card secured. So you potential equal glory on this okay. one. Okay. Uh, what Trade Federation vehicle carries and deploys a cohort of 112 battle droids? Do I need like a technical? Uh, if you can give me, if you give me something close to it, I'll give it to you because it is a te- it is a specific. It does have a specific. Name, yeah, it does have a specific right, name, yeah. but if you can sort of lean towards it in a similar bow caster bow launcher kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, I can't. I can picture it in my head, but I don't know what they call what, it. What would you describe it as? What like? It's a specific term, but it's quite an easy one to sort of stick together. Give me the question again. What trade federation vehicle carries and deploys a cohort of 112 battle droids? It does have a technical name, but you can kind of stick words together and probably get close. Uh, no, I don't know. It is, it is something that you would name it. It is a multi-troop transport. Oh, okay. Sure. So, I mean, you can just kind of stick words yeah, together to yeah. describe it and you might get close. Yeah. So, uh, so no glory, but you could get... F- I could get four. I could get four. How many kilometres in diameter was the first Death Star? 120 kilometres, 1,200 kilometres, or 12,000 kilometres? Oh Christ! So uh, once again, how many kilometers in uh, in diameter was the first Death Star? Twelve thousand. Twelve thousand. We're going. It is one hundred and twenty kilometers. That you're, you're that think- doesn't seem much. <laughs> <laughs> the first one is a, is a moon yeah. in, in diameter. So it's it's that's not radius. That's diameter. That's to the center. Uh, still doesn't seem much. Is that diameter? I'm getting my yeah. No, radius is around the edge. Circumference. Circum- no, no circumference, circumference is the edge. Right, yes. Radius is to the center. Diameter is across the middle. Sure. Yeah, diameter still doesn't seem that much. Uh, it's described as a small moon. Yeah. I don't know the diameter of the moon. No, I don't either. I'm quite terrible at distances. Yeah. So. Well, apparently you thought it was that you're thinking. You're thinking of I episode seven to my kitchen. Uh, see, you know what? You're thinking of New Hope, two point one. You're thinking of episode seven. But you're thinking of Death Planet, which yeah, is twelve thousand kilometers. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so, still so get the card. What we've learned here is Jay doesn't understand distances. <laughs> yeah. Jay no do distance well. Yep. Yeah. I think it's because I don't drive. I never have any need to know distances. To be fair, on that one, I'd have gone 1,200. Oh, okay. But I think that's the one for the... Maybe it's probably closer to the second Death Star, maybe. I don't know. Okay. <clears throat> what Gungan has distinctive green skin and prominent eyebrows? And I will just make a point, this is for the match. Yes. Um, I kind of want to win this on a six. Oh, okay. But, oh, it's the General, but I can't remember his name. General... Um... General Tutti. I don't know. No, it's Boss Nass. Is it Boss? Uh, mm, okay. Yeah. I was going to think of Boss Nass, but... Yeah. Oh. So, no six of you. No. Uh, who defends the Emperor from Luke's lightsaber attack? Uh, Darth Vader. Who does Leia describe as a natural leader? Uh, Han. Yeah. You're going to get five. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's going to really... Yeah, because I, I had Boss Nass in my head as well. How many scenes show the hyperdrive on the Millennium Falcon failing to engage? Two. It's three. Oh fuck! That's quite a. Yeah, I wasn't sure. I didn't really think about. I didn't think it was because it's twice. It's not one in every film, is it? It's one. It's two in one film. Uh, What planet known for its starships was Mm -hmm. home to Han Solo and Goddammit Wedge? Uh, Known for its that would be. Oh, it's not Corellia, is it? It is Corellia. Oh yes. So you've got the card. You've won the match. I fucking pulled that out somewhere. Yeah. Uh, What does Leia say when Han asks? Afraid I was going to leave without giving you a goodbye kiss? Oh, God, I don't know. Oh, God, that's quite an obscure answer. Uh, so what's Leia's response to that line? Put it in me. 
pardon. <laughs> Sorry, what was the question? <laughs> Afraid I was going to leave without giving you a goodbye kiss. I'd hope so. <laughs> no. But you're along the right sort of yeah. lines. Yeah. Um, I'd just as soon kiss a Wookiee. Okay. Yeah. I knew it was going to be a shot now, but yeah. I wanted it to be put it in me. Yeah. That would have been amazing. Yeah. Well, I mean, he was putting it in her at that time, he was, as, yeah. as we found out in our biography. Let's do it now. Um, well, I mean. So you won? I won. I am the best Star Warserer. You are a better Star Warserer than I am. When it just turns out, if you actually like the prequel and the trilogy, you stand in a good stance when, yeah. you stand in a good stance when you are questioned on both. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you're militantly hateful of the first three, <laughs> it, first it three films, does hamper your ability to. It does. You, you can't really get any trilogy questions wrong. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> and when some of them are super obscure, yeah, you're yeah. screwed, basically. Yeah. I should hand the cards back. Oh, right. Still, that was fun. So, I need to figure out a new quiz thing, but it's fine. I've got a week and a half to do it now. Yeah, exactly. Or something uh, else. Do something Maybe other something stuff. Marvel related. Yeah, I don't know Marvel very well, so you'll get that one. But I'll find, Brilliant. I'll, I'll find some. Definitely do that. <laughs> I'll find some quiz cards or something. Yeah. Um, yeah, just look online for random quiz cards and yeah. something. Or we could do. Uh, Top Trumps isn't quite as fun. No, I the quite like the better. format of this round. Yeah. I'm Let sure... us know in the comments if you do, Harry. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, I, I, I'm sure there's going to be some form of... Even if I have to buy a Trivial Pursuit of some other kind, like yeah. a movie Trivial Pursuit or something. Yeah, that'd be a good be quite idea. Fun. Yeah. But with that, we are pretty much on an hour. As I oh, say, I'm, well, that's impressive. Yeah, we are at 56 minutes currently. We could waffle so, for four minutes or we could just give the guys a treat and do a short one. Yeah, I think we'll do a short one because I also have to render this video and then drive to Coventry. Yeah, mm, so, Coventry. And I have to go get my hair cut and get some lunch because I'm very hungry and I have not eaten today other than this kind of monster I've slowly been slurping. Mm, which has tricked my body into thinking I actually have <laughs> yeah. sustenance inside me. Just, there's something there. There's something there, yeah. Right, so yeah, thank you very much for listening, whoever is actually listening. Thanks Harry, thanks Florida. God damn it, Wedge. Yeah, just remember God damn it, Wedge. Um, and and this is the videos obviously upload to YouTube every Wednesday evening, uh, Thursday for most people in the UK because we generally record this quite late. Um, it is going also now available on iTunes, the podcast app. So if you just search on the podcast app, uh, non refundable or non refundable podcast, it comes up on there. Uh, every one is up as soon as it's uploaded, pretty much again on Thursdays. It's available for UK, it'll be available late evening and Wednesdays for anyone in America. And uh, obviously you've got 177 Entertainment, the home of all of my vague attempts at trying to be humourful and provide some form of entertainment. Jay also writes uh, bandtothebone.wordpress.com. That's the one, yeah. And he's also, which is about a struggling band, yep. like before they're famous. Mm-hmm. Uh, I can't remember what your, your last one was, like stretching two pounds to cover like eight, three weeks or something, wasn't it? Uh, it was about um, getting paid shit all for doing gigs, basically. Yeah, yeah, you paid an experience. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Exposure. He's paid an exposure, yeah. yeah. And uh, he also runs the Beaters group as well, which I will probably link at some point yeah, as well. Yeah, uh, beatersgaming.co.uk, um, have a website now. Yeah, and all the people have got various other channels as well yes. or, or at least Graham does as well I know you've got one where you're playing some form of character customization. yes which yeah. was pretty much the only video I did it was the Black Desert <laughs> online customization because it's insane yeah, well, unfortunately I... the game itself is not that good <laughs> <laughs> but the customization is amazing so there you go uh, right so yeah very, thank you very much for watch, uh, watching slash listening guys um, say so I've been if he's been Jay and um, we'll be back next Wednesday for more podcast and inane rambling yay cheers bye, bye.